first at six, an elderly man is dead after a plane crashed into the water tower in Whitehall. That crash happened just before noon near the Whitehall Public Schools athletic fields. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mick LaFave. I'm Juliette Dragas. The police chief says the pilot, 79 year old James Joseph Laird, is dead after the crash. Crash happened so close to the school fields that the district put alerts out on Facebook. They stressed no students were involved. 13 on your side's John Mills joins us live now with why one man was already on the phone with 911 when the plane hit the water tower. Well, Juliet, the witness tells me he was working just across the street from the water tower when he heard that plane approaching town from just above the treetops. He says it was so low that he was afraid it was going to crash, and so he called 911. It sounded like Regular sound of an airplane, but just louder because it was so low to the ground. Flying extremely low, just above the treetops, about 150 feet off the ground. It's why Jeremy Watts called 911. Then he watched as the single engine plane smashed directly into the water tower. Like if it was a 50 gallon drum of water that you hit and that, that echo sound but it was intense where you can actually feel it. Watts tried to give 911 information about the condition of the pilot, but there were hot flames and heavy smoke. I told her that from what I saw, there was no movement at least. Local investigators say the 79 year old pilot was alone in the plane. He's from the Whitehall area. The plane took off from a runway east of town. He departed from Fremont Municipal Airport and it was about 45 minutes prior to our notification of the incident. The cause is something Federal Aviation Administration investigators will try to determine. From the ground, all indications are the plane was on a level flight path. Uh, did not veer and did not change the uh, engine speed. Uh, did not appear to be any problem with the engine. Hit it and went straight down. There was no veering, there was no sputtering sounds, nothing. Just hit, bounce down. And what was left of that two seater airplane was loaded up on a, a, a flatbed vehicle and hauled away from here. There really wasn't much left. The tail section was still kind of intact. Uh, as for this water tower, it does have a big dent. Right now, the city is um, putting it, uh, turned it off. They will do a test on it to make sure it's still structurally sound, but it does have a dent and a scrape on the outside. They hope to bring it back into service tomorrow. Nick. John, thank you very much.